my uh, grandparents, my grandfather actually, migrated to Australia in 1876. Uh, my parents were Australian, so you could say we're a, uh, an Aussie through and through of uh, German origin. When I began school, would you believe, at almost seven years of age, I could barely speak English. The inaugural migrant holding centre in Australia, that was at Bangilla, a Lutheran chaplain who contacted our clergyman at Milbelong to um, notify us that there was a camp going to be established at uh, June Quinty and as to whether we could see our way clear of having some people come and assist uh, these people to assimilate into uh, Australian way of life. My dad went down, of course, a uh, clergyman at the time from Milbelong, Lutheran community. At that stage I was um, more interested in just going to see what was going to be happening. I was only 20 years of age and I'd heard about all these fair-skinned young blonde ladies that were coming to Australia and I, uh, that was of interest to me. Our visit there coincided with the arrival of a train from Melbourne. That was an eye-opener to me. They were just, just appeared as though they were lost. Where are we? Imagine ourselves going to a similar situation in a foreign country. How would we feel? So that motivated me at that very time to uh, become involved. Uh, predominantly initially were the, the Baltic people that's the Estonia, Latvia, Lithuanians, and predominantly they were of Lutheran background. I actually taught Sunday school out here, would you believe? I was also then involved with their, uh, the establishment of a school here, Department of Education. During that period of time, 1948 to 52, there were 28,000 people moved through this camp here. Some of those people that arrived here were professionals in in medical field and when they arrived they had to sign an agreement with the Department of Immigration that they would be placed wherever there was a need for employment. It might have been the railways, uh, steelworks, um, forestry. Big numbers of them moved to the Snowy Mountain Scheme and predominantly they were of Lutheran background and that's how the original contact came to us through our permanent chaplain at Bangilla. A Lutheran chaplain who contacted our minister clergyman at Milbelong. So that's how it really all evolved. Then of course when we had numerous other conflicts in different parts of the world, uh, Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslavia, Bosnia immediately comes to mind. Then in most recent years it's revolved primarily around people from the African continent. People say well what do you get out of it? And I said look satisfaction of these people starting their lives all over again, particularly with children, and to see them progress and do so well, they are future Australians. want to forget the past because talking and talking over of our past and the bitterness we went through it takes our memories back it's not a fond memory so we just want to forget it so we're starting a new life that's why we decided to call the group the new life gospel choir Form of six members, three Liberians, three Sierraians. That's why we formed the group here in Australia, and we will continue to praise God for the rest of our lives, for all that He's done for us, and for all that He's got in store for us. So we thank in God for that, and we are grateful to the government of Australia for making us being here in Australia. It's really good, and we are happy.
what a wonderful country Australia is. If only we realised how fortunate we are. Australians just take it for granted. Dancing in the house of the Lord.